back to the mod sled thing, guys. This is my trusted old steed. I've had this guy for, oh, 10, 15 years, maybe? 15, probably. Again, it's the same style as the other one. It is a base 98 Summit X. That's where it stops. Everything else has been modified or reinforced. This is good old pure horsepower. It's a 1029 triple. It is 242 horse, 156 foot pounds of torque on the dyno. So that's at elevation, so, or at, uh, at sea level. At elevation, it's gonna be less, of course. That's the shit. Yo, this motor was built by Bill Price himself. One of the longest running mod motors I've ever had. It started out as a 159, because that's all they had at the time. <laughs> they didn't even have 162s or threes. But it is stretched to a 62. I put a three inch track in it. Um, again, this one has some very innovative stuff. It's got the third bearing on the jack shaft, which we're gonna show you. Uh, it's a pillow block that was added. That was Ken's idea at Mount Magic. As you guys can see, that third bearing on the jack shaft. It's an aluminum block, custom made, of course. That jack shaft is custom made as well. It's titanium. So is the drive shaft, custom made. I'm not gonna tell you how much those were because you would probably shit your pants. This is running a Polaris primary, 911 clutch cover, of course. I do have the Paragon in this one, which is awesome. Um, what do we got in here? These are 46 by 48 mil oval board carburetors. They're race carburetors. Um, they work really, really well. Uh, big carburetors usually don't work good because of the the slow response, but these ones work really well. It's running an old school chain case, just a standard Polaris chain case, so it doesn't quite have the drop and rolls the other one. It's still pretty good, but nothing like the other one. This one had to have smaller drivers to fit that three inch track in, but it fits with flying colors. The only problem is the pillow block in the middle was hitting the paddles. So I had to cut them off. This sled was built more for lightweight. Back 15 years ago, uh, 10, 15 years ago, this sled weighed 445 pounds. It was really, really light for a triple. It's still pretty light. Um, the rear skid is carbon fiber. It has titanium bolts. It has aluminum cross shafts that have all been gun drilled. It weighs just a little bit over 30 pounds. And it's a 162. It's got a three inch, 16 wide track. 162 in here, camel plastic scream. These are Cromoli trailing arms. Um, they're a Polaris trailing arm, put on a Skidoo snowmobile. So I have aluminum Polaris spindles with Polaris skis. This is a 37 inch front end. So it's not wide by no means. It's not the narrowest, but it sure works good. These crankshaft pipes rock. Uh, they've <laughs> never broke. They've never cracked. The only problem I've had is with the stingers. So I did stick a set of jaws stingers on there, which make it sound pretty cool. One great thing with this motor and all the years I've had it, it starts usually on the first pull. It's loud, it's proud and it makes a presence. Sweet sounding. Anybody else get a chubby like I just did? And again, we need some subscribers, guys. You gotta subscribe. Help us out so we can bring you some more cool videos. Click that subscribe button and make sure you turn the bell notification on so you get all of our videos. Oh, that thing sounds horny. Fuck, I love that sound. <laughs>